Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy. This is the uh, Platinum Preppy uh, fountain pen here, and this is a very interesting little pen. Um, first off, though, I do want to thank my buddy Robo Jim for sending this little guy along. It's an interesting piece, and it's probably one I wouldn't have picked up separately, but I'm glad I did get a chance, so thank you. Um, next thing, size comparison. Right here it is against your standard Big Click stick pen. Right here it is against the Lamy Safari. Uh, right here against your uh, Pilot G2 gel pen kind of thing and uh, against the uh, Twisby Eco. Should probably swap in the pen that I'm talking about here. Um, so there's your size comparison. And uh, because this is a very inexpensive pen and because there's not all that much to say about it, I'm going to make this a quick review and just talk about what I like and what I don't like about this little guy. So let's go into it. So on the good side for me, um, first off, this is a, uh, a demonstrator-style pen. What I mean by that is that you've got this little area here which shows you the innards of this pen. I mean, you can see the cartridge here. You can see that the cartridge goes into this area. The ink gets absorbed into here and heads towards the nib. I mean, this makes it very clear how a fountain pen works. Very clear. Huh? Um, and I like that. I think it's a neat little feature, and especially for somebody new to the fountain pen game, that, that's a fun little detail. And the fact that you can also get a, a great variety of colors makes this fun in other ways as well. This is a red one, in case you haven't noticed, um, but you can get them in a bunch of other different colors. You can buy variety packs, lots of bright, vibrant colors, which, again, serve to make this a very exciting little pen. But the thing is, in addition to being an exciting little pen, it's a nice writer, too. I mean, I can write with this, and this is a very fine nib. See, I'll write that out. Very fine. Nib. But the thing is, it writes nicely. There is very little in the way of cutout and whatnot. Um, this is a nicer writer than some very expensive pens that I've taken out of the box, and I appreciate that very much. And you can actually make the nib even finer by flipping the pen over. So you can see here, all right, even finer. And that's kind of cool, um, and that's a neat little trick, and I appreciate the fact that this can do that, too. So the fact is that this is both a, a very cool-looking pen, but it's also a pen that writes nicely. This is a nice demonstration of what a fountain pen can do, because it writes with very little pressure. I'm applying practically no... Here, I'll apply very, very little pressure to the paper here, and it's still writing consistently. That's the kind of thing that we want people to see if they're new to fountain pens. This is a good exploit. This is a good demonstration of what a good fountain pen can do. Um, next thing, this is a very low-maintenance sort of pen. It's uh, it's plastic. It's it's durable. I don't feel like there's a whole lot going on here. That y y It's not like a piston filler that you need to have fancy bottled inks and whatnot. Um, you can hand this to somebody, and it will write and write and write, and there's no freaking problem with it whatsoever. Um, and so... That's a very nice thing. And then finally, the very, very, very best part of this pen is that it's five bucks. I mean, seriously, in fact, you can get them cheaper. I've seen them for like three seventy-five. You can get a seven pack of these for 25 bucks. Holy crap, are these inexpensive. This is the cheapest fountain pen that I am aware of. Uh, certainly that you can buy through modern outlets. I mean, yeah, you can buy Chinese-made pens, you know, buy the bulk or something. But this is a really, really inexpensive fountain pen. And that's a great thing because given the fact that it also writes well, that it's relatively simple, and it's a demonstrator. It makes this a very, very good pen for sharing the fountain pen joy. So to me, at least, that's what's good, is that it is inexpensive, it's low maintenance, it writes very nicely with a very fine tip on this model here. The demonstrator makes it very cool to see what's going on inside the pen, and the color variety makes it appealing to a wide variety of people. On the bad side, honestly, there are only two real issues I've got with it. One is that if we look inside the ink cartridge here, they have a little ball bearing in there, which they refer to as an agitator. You can see it rolling back and forth in there. And the thing is, that makes this a little bit... Well, let's put it this way. It agitated me. Um... Uh... Uh, they, 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 yeah, I they, I see what they're doing. They're trying to make it so it keeps the ink very liquid and keeps it moving around in the barrel. But the thing is, it just means that this pen is going to be constantly rattling. And so carrying this guy in my pocket, it was just like, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing. I didn't love that particularly. So the agitator is very, very effective in that way. The other issue for me is that this is using a proprietary cartridge. It's not using the international cartridge standard for all fountain pens. No, 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 they, they're too good for that. They've got their own thing. And unfortunately, the the cartridges are almost as expensive as the pen. You can get a two-pack of cartridges on most websites that I was looking at for like four or five bucks. That's not something that I'm super in love with. Um, because at that price, I don't know, it's a little weird. And you're probably not going to be able to find them in a regular office supply store. I mean, you can refill the cartridge after you're done. Or you can turn the pen into an eyedropper if you get a little O-ring and put it right here um, where, where you fill the entire back with ink. 
But unfortunately, that's just kind of a wasteful thing. And it would be very nice if I give one of these to somebody to be able to hand them another cartridge from my existing collection of actual cartridges for actual real fountain pens. Uh, but instead, they went proprietary, and that's always a money grab, and it's always really freaking ugly. So it's a real shame that this great introductory pen tries to wedge you into a proprietary standard that nobody else is using. So um, to me, at least, that's, that's what's bad, is that the proprietary cartridges, proprietary, there we go, that's how it sounds when you can talk, uh, they suck. And and then it's using that little agitator in there, which indeed is agitating. Uh, let's go to a final conclusion. Okay, for me, final conclusion, this is a perfect gateway pen. What I mean by that is that if you yourself, for instance, a fountain pen curious, you're not sure, you think it might be for you, but you want, you want to try it in a way that you can get out of it very easily, then buy one of these guys. Because you know what? It writes like a fountain pen. It works well. And if by the time you're done with the ink cartridge, you decide fountain pens aren't for you, then guess what? No problem. You throw it away. You're out like 375. Life goes freaking on. Um, but, and then if you, you decide you love it, you move on. But I think the better use for these guys, at least in my mind, is as a fire and forget sort of vector for pen enthusiasm. Imagine that there's somebody that you dislike greatly and you want to burden them with a very expensive hobby. Uh, maybe somebody at the office who you see uh, has a low-key stationary fetish and you want to you wanna help them out by trying something new. Maybe a friend, maybe your own partner or child you want to infect with the fountain pen virus. But in any of those situations, all you got to do is buy him a platinum preppy. You hand it to him and then you walk away. Uh, and the first hit is always free, as they say. Maybe they're going to use it a few times and just hate it. Maybe they're just going to like, I don't know, this is too much trouble. What's the... And the, 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 they'll throw it away. Life goes on. You're out five bucks and you did a nice thing for somebody. But on the other side, maybe it'll work. Maybe they'll fall in love. Maybe they'll come to you asking about cartridges with a kind of crazy look in their eye, like, where can I get more ink? I need more ink. And then you can drop something like a Twisby Eco on them, which is more expensive, but uh, it gets you deeper into the fountain pen experience. Or send them further down the road, you know, oh, well, maybe you consider this guy. And then you, you've got a pen friend and it's all over at that point. Or maybe you'll just suddenly see him show up in a meeting, you know, no longer with the preppy, but with the Pilot Metropolitan. Then a few weeks later, maybe they've got a Caveco Sport. Then a Pilot Vanishing Point. Then a Pelican Souverain M800. I mean, next thing you know, they're living in a box with one heck of a pen collection. But you got them. And the way that you got them is the Platinum Preppy. Uh, that, to me at least, is what this pen is for. It's for giving to people who don't necessarily know that they are into fountain pens yet but you want to see if they are. Um, and so if you are already a collector, you don't need this pen. You've probably got better. If you own a fountain pen, chances are you've got a nicer fountain pen. That's not true. There are some pretty crappy pens out there. Um, but the thing is, if you are looking to spread the hobby and to spend other people's money, then the Platinum Preppy is prepared to help. Hope this has been interesting to you. Have yourselves a good one. Bye now.